Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean with Momentum and today I'm going to be teaching you how to completely optimize your Matterport virtual tour listing on your account. Guys, if you haven't yet, stop, go to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you're watching this from, click notifications and go to post notifications and turn them on as well as YouTube click that little bell. So whenever we post a new video, you are the first person to know. So let's get started. So if you go under your <clears throat> Matterport login at mymatterport.com, once you log in, you can go to any model. You can use this method with any single property you've shot. It's very simple and it's very, very effective for ranking your specific keyword in which you want to rank for. Okay. So you see here, I have a beautiful house in Fairmount, PA. In Philadelphia I mean this place is just gorgeous I think this sells for about 1.3 1.4 mil I personally shot this one it was a absolute pleasure to shoot this it was so beautiful but I want to actually take time to go through what I did to completely optimize this for selling right so what you need to do is quickly go into edit and I'm gonna be walking through all of these uh, optimizations all of these features right here so it's really simple you don't need to go anywhere else right so the first thing i would recommend is the start location you can put the start location anywhere you want i know that matterport automatically sets a start location for you but you can do that yourself so let's say for instance if we go to the fifth floor which i wouldn't recommend uh, starting all the way at the top here but let's just say automatically your you know um your Matterport uh, sets it at this location. You can quickly, if you just go to floor two, and then you go all the way here, which you would want to start at the front door, obviously. You can start location. This is your old preview and you can set it, saving. And once you're good to go, this is going to be the new preview. So really cool. Now, it's just a better idea because you want to start on the floor, first floor, obviously, the front door. It's a more natural way to really look at these tours, right? Really natural way. So that's number one. Number two, if you have an unwanted scan, let's say that you have scans that are too close together, they're kind of far apart, and you kind of want to make it a little more neat, here's how you do that. So let's just take, uh, what is it, scan 34 and scan 30 something, 36, I don't know. If you want to hide that, all you do is you hide the scan. And once you um, publish it, 34 right here will, will not be shown in the preview. It doesn't delete automatically, but it's kind of archived, right? So you can take it back once you uh, need it or if you need it. But if you don't want to uh, include this, just hide the scan and you'll be uh, good to go with that. Next, the are 360 views. These 360 views you can take on whether it's your iPhone, it's an iPad, whatever it is, you can take these and you can view these here. And you can actually incorporate them in your space. Unfortunately, Matterport cannot export these 360 views as their own photos, which is kind of annoying. But what you can do is if you had any 360 views right here, all you would have to do is drag and drop into the scan. So let's say I had a 360 view of you know, the front door right here and it would show this mirror it would show this closet the stairs kind of like you know the starting location right i could put that right here so people can like you know just do a little 360 uh view and, and check it out uh and there's like a dollhouse view too so it's really more um uh it's it's there's a lot you're getting with with 360 view it's not just a 360 pi uh, picture but once you're already in the space you kind of get a, a feel for it so i wouldn't say it's completely necessarily but necessary but if you want to add this you know be my guest Next, and which is really, really cool, you can actually take photos of, um, you know, the property. So you can actually go all the way in here and zoom and take a photo. Or you can go to Pano right here and do a, you know, like a 360 view 
right here. So it's really cool. I like this a lot just because Matterport automatically gives you still photos. However, it really depends on the size. This property got about 26 photos, but for MLS, you want at least like 30, right? Or 36, I forget the number, but you want more than that. So here's a way you can just simply, and they're not HD, they're not edited photos, but they're still photos nonetheless. So if you are lacking in photos, you can just take a couple of photos right here get them up to 36 or 30, whatever the number is, and uh, have a happy client so they can post on MLS, it's really simple. Next, you can go to labels, and I don't necessarily use these too often, but if you just wanna put a label, um, what you do is, this is actually gonna show on the bird's eye view, you can put a label right here, and you know it's kind of the same thing as a matter tag, but it's, uh, I, which I would recommend the matter tags 100%, but um, just for the sake of, of showing you guys exactly how this works, uh, labels can be used as well. And also, if you are in the restoration business, construction business, you can take a measurement of something. So for instance, if I click right here and drag, oops, if I drag across, say, okay, how, how far is this distance between the couch and the uh, one wall right here? It's about five feet, which is pretty cool. So we can add that. You could add anything you want, any measurement you want. It's very, very accurate. And it's, it's really cool technology that we can even do that. So that's that. And now, long and behold, here are one of my favorite. Now, these are probably my favorite feature of Matterport, and they are called Matter Tags. So these are tags that you can actually put in the property, and you can say anything you want. I mean, you see a couple right here. They go by floor, so it's really, really organized, really neat. Matterport just updated this interface, so uh, before it was kind of, it wasn't bad. It was just, it wasn't as organized as this, though. So props to Matterport. You guys are doing a really good job with this. I like this. Keep it up. So as you see here, here's a uh, countertop, a kitchen countertop, and you can just make it a little nice description, a waterfall, Calcutta, quartz. I really like the um, material right here. I like quartz on this. And then we also put top of the line, uh, Sub-Zero and Viking appliances. However, if you want to get creative, what you can do is you see right here, you can do add a link. And what you can do is you can actually embed a YouTube video, an image with a link a call to action, a website, anything you want. And the best part about it is you don't have to leave Matterport to watch the YouTube video. If you look on MomentumVirtualTours.com website, you can actually see that our Miami property, our bunch of other properties, our restaurants have YouTube videos that you can actually go to and don't have to leave this site right here. You don't have to leave the virtual tour, which is so, so awesome. I love that. I love that feature so much. Um, yeah, so you can add this. Uh, <laughs> If you're colorblind like me uh, and you want to add a couple more uh, colors just to spark it up, uh, spice it up a little bit, you can do this. Uh, I really like the, you know, the default color right here. It's it's pretty solid. But if you want to do any more anything else, you can do that as well. And a uh, stem, you can do. Okay, do you want it to be a long stem? You can see the stem right here growing, or you want it to be kind of short. Really doesn't matter. And if you just want to put a normal matter tag, you can just type in. Uh, like welcome to 766 North Uber Street, something like that, something really nice. What I would recommend if you're actually trying to rank these properties for, like let's say this is a single family home in, in Fairmount, that's the keyword, you type in beautiful single family home in Fairmount, something like that, which Google is then gonna recognize and if you put in the description here, put the same keyword and Google will have a better chance at uh, ranking this keyword on like Zillow or MLS or realtor.com. Really, really simple. And then of course, if you wanna put like any media, you can see the supported formats right here. Really, really simple. You just need to convert a image or a YouTube video or you can just post the YouTube video, I'm pretty sure. It's so really simple with that. And you can put these all over the house. So they're really useful just to kind of call out, all right, what are we looking at? What's, uh, you know, some nice amenities of the house, all that good stuff. Really, really awesome. And one of the last things I'll talk about is the highlight reel. So this is something where if you go on a virtual tour and you notice at the bottom, you have a whole little uh, carousel of, of um, you know, photos that you can take. Once you go through, because what you'll have the option is if you go right here, once you hit play, it'll go through all the highlights below in chronological order as you place them. And then you can kind of check out the house. It's kind of like a, a video showing instead of you actually going through the tour yourself, which is kind of cool. But 
I would recommend it 100% just because it adds value and it's something else the consumer can look at if they want to do that, not just go through the whole tour itself, right? So how you do that is you go to uh, find the view that you want. This is a pretty nice view right here. And then you can kind of customize it to whatever you want. So beautiful um, first floor living. Oh, well, you have the character limit, I guess. So first beautiful living room and then you can uh, select the pan direction whether you want to be left right or automatic and you can also apply this to all just to slide through or the walk through so it's really cool with that i don't want to do any highlights right now for this specific property but you can see um you'll hit this play button will now uh, pop up where you can play it so you can hit play and you know all these are the the highlights are all going to be on this bottom part right here so you can check them out it is so so cool when they're all done um, but i would definitely recommend that now last but not least something that is very 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 no we're going to cancel everything is very very cool is you can go to apps and now you can actually post to google street view google my business google maps also post to uh, publish to real um realtor.com homes Verbo, HomeAway, so all these wonderful platforms that we have at Matterport, we have at our disposal. And for, <clears throat> excuse me, for specific uh, subscriptions, we actually have this included in our uh, subscription, in our, in our package. So I believe we have the plus package where we have like 200 uh, models that we can have. And this includes the Google too. So I don't know. I think for the coronavirus, they might be including this in our subscription. I'm not really sure, but you just have to check it out. Go to like Matterport dot com slash subscriptions or something like that and you can check it out from there and uh, yeah it's really simple so all you have to do and this is kind of going to be the format for all of these two so just follow what i'm going to do for google what you would do for 766 north uber street is you would type in the location you now have a little bird's eye view of the property and the, the uh, street so what you want to do is you want to line it up so this is about right right here and you can kind of see the, if you have trouble seeing this, you can just go to the map. So you can see, okay, like here's the whole property. So it would be, it would be best right here, I would say, just to fall in between the lines, if you can see it. It's just like one, one little box right here. And then you can go to street view as well. So, okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. You're, we're inside that little box. Now you can select a Gmail. It doesn't matter what Gmail it is. It doesn't have to be the same e uh, email with the Matterport. Just select one. You can add the account. You're going to get a notification, a confirmation. Once you confirm it, this name will pop up here. You can also invite a collaborator, which is really neat. If you have uh, one of your clients who wants to kind of have editing rights, they will only be able to edit this specific virtual tour. They're not going to be able to ex uh, access any other ones. So really cool thing. Once you have this, you have your Google Place ID. Not really important just something that you uh, want to keep in mind, I guess, if you ever need it, you have it. And this is how it's going to uh, display. And then boom, you can publish it. It takes about 24 to 48 hours for it to completely show up on Google. Don't be, uh, you know, upset if you see Google street images and it just being a 360 view instead of them like collect, like it, it uh, being, you know, a, t a full tour. It's going to be you know, it's, it's going to, it's going to happen. It's going to be kind of a patchy and it's going to, going to need to be stitched together. So just wait and it, you'll have the full tour. Um, it's, it's not going to be just 360 views. It's going to be the, the entire tour. And, uh, but the one thing I will say about Google is they don't accept the matter tags, which is a huge, it, it's just, it, it really stinks, but it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, that's how you post on Google. This is the same kind of format you post for realtor.com homeboy, all these wonderful things. Uh, yeah, so this is really, really awesome. Oh, and one other thing too before I go is you can actually put the presented by contact info. My boy Francis Mangabat, he's a realtor for Advanced Philly. He's the co-founder. So we can put like a nice summary, his contact info, all the good stuff, a website you see here too. And that is how you completely optimize a Matterport virtual tour listing. Really simple. Really hope uh, this provided value to you guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to our youtube channel we post literally every single week about really important topics keeping you up to date on the industry trends and technology this was sean boyle with momentum thank you guys so much and stay safe out there bye